Hola, it's Gabby here for Crafty Gabby and today I'm going to make tags uh, these tags uh, have a magnet that you can use for your um, planner or for your refrigerator or for things in your craft room uh, I stamp twice um, each image and I color them with my copy markers um, I'm not going to show too much the coloring because I am not an expert in coloring and in coloring with copy marker. I just grab whatever my heart desire and start coloring. After I finish color this uh, image, I um, die cut them with the die cuts that come in the stamp set. This stamp set is from Taylor Expression. Uh, and it comes with the stamps uh, and the die cuts. After I finish, um cutting them I'm going to cut um, several tags in white and in black and in the tag I'm going to cut the shape with the same die cut uh, of the of the stamp in this case is the coffee uh, cup I'm going to cut it in two um, white cardstock and I'm going to leave one without cutting I'm showing different ways to make them shiny and the first one was with embossing powder thick embossing powder and the second one with the um, glossy accent but the, it's called pico de gallo irresistible but the, wa the way I did, I did like more was with this it's called um, polycrylic it's a uh, water base you just dip it down and let it dry and you get like this shiny and you can wipe it you can clean it up after um, I did that I forgot that I, I haven't painted the, the, the sprinkles in the donut and I did it after I make it shiny but it was good. no problem at all with that okay now I'm going to um, oh out of uh, camera I cut the the magnets I cut it the same way I cut every single image with the die cut and I pass it through my uh, sticker maker and I'm going to glue my image to the magnet Okay, now I'm going to ensemble the the tag. I'm going to glue uh, the two white cardstock together, and then after that, I'm going to glue the one in pattern paper. I try to uh, add a lot of glue in the corners because the image is going to be fitting in there, and I don't want any corner to um, uh, glue that stay out. Uh, that drive me crazy. Before that I apply uh, glue very close to the corners in the hole. Okay, uh, before gluing the tag that is going to be in the bottom, uh, I'm going to glue uh, first, I also with my sticker maker, uh, the image that is going to be in the um, bottom tag. I, I measure with the top tag the half the hole and I glue it down. And after that I can glue my my tag the half the pattern paper.
and also I place already the magnet inside. I'm going to stamp um, my sentiment. All my sentiments is um, were a little bit crooked because I couldn't see the word because um, this is not a clear stamp. Uh, but they, they, they were fine. Uh, and I also cut this in the little ring in the tag and I cut, cut it in white. And I'm going to add six set, um, how do you call this? Six set. I don't know how you call this. Six set something? Six set ribbon? I guess? I don't know. Um, around the, the tag with silicone glue. After that, I'm going to add um, ribbon in trying to match the color of the tag or something in the stamp. Um, but I was playing that part in the second tag. Um, in this one, you remember that I did this with the zigzag, and I'm here doing just the part of the rainbow. I made the rainbow just with my uh, needle and thread. And my ribbon and I just glue it down with my um, hot glue comb in the top of the tag. Okay this is my uh, third tag. I was planning to do it in with white tags but I already cut the black one and I said okay let's go with the black to see uh, the result it was not bad um, I like I uh, did before I glue the I in the black ones I glue more together I glue like thing I four because the cardstock it was a little bit thinner than the white one the white one was very thick and I doing the same process as I did on the first one and the second one before I glue in the final tag I glue first my image um, after that I glue my, ta my tag with the pattern paper and I decorate the, I decorate the, the tag with the uh, zigzag, the sentiment, the ring and the bow. In this one I show how I cut the last pieces of the bow, bow I got the, this one in diagonal and this one in uh, fishtail. And well, this is it, this is my video for today. I hope you like it. Thank you for watching my videos on the next card. Goodbye.